Hi there, it's Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our videos. I do appreciate it. Before we get started building a chair, <laughs> which I have to build a chair for my uh, for my home office, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Also, the bell notification button below. We'd appreciate that. And when we get all done, if you like the video, really love for you to hit the like button as well. But I got to build a chair, and this is not going to be as hard as you think it is. I know that a lot of people take a look at this and says, "I can't build a chair. I can't build a chair." Everything you need to build this chair is in this box, but I am going to show you a couple of tricks if you have it that might help it go a little bit easier, all right? So let's get to it. Let's unbox this thing and see what we got. First of all, this is a, what is it? A, a, how do you pronounce that? A Kelburn, a Kelburn Luxury Manager's Chair. Peg got this for me for my, uh, for my home office, so we'll see. Um, it's supposed to, be, uh, supposed to be a bigger chair than your normal uh, office chair. And I am a big boy, so she got me a big chair. So let's get this thing open and see what's inside of it. And if you have a razor blade, be very careful with it, all right? I've had too many people that have cut themselves on razor blades in the past. All right, put that off to the side because I don't need that anymore. So like I say, I think most everything that you're going to need to build this chair is going to be in this box. So what you want to do is start taking everything out and setting it off to the side so you know what you have. You have both arms. So I have both arms left and right. And I'm just going to throw the trash off to the side if you don't mind. There's all the stuff to build it with right there. And we're going to go through that here in just a second. There's the base. We're going to set that off to the side. Take that piece of cardboard, get that out of the way. This is the base, so you can see it's got the screw holes that you're going to have to put your bolts into to hold it in. We'll put that off to the side. And you've got the back. And again, that's got the screw holes on both sides that you're going to have to go into. So we're going to set that off to the side. And then the last thing you need is the controller. This goes underneath the base of the chair. Throw those off to the side. This goes underneath the base of the chair here. So we're going to show you how to put all this together. So once you've got them all apart, then you get rid of the box and you find the directions. The directions are going to be in this. So you just pop this open. You got all the screws, every single screw, and they're all labeled to tell you which one you need where in the chair. And then you've got the direction. You've also got the wheels to go in the base. Well, uh, one, two, five wheels to go into the base of the chair. And then you've also got the, uh, I guess it's the, I don't know what you call it really honestly, but it's the telescoper that makes the chair go up and down. So again, all these are going to set off to the side for right now. And we're going to go into the directions and see what we have to do first. So I have all the pieces laid out now. And you're going to have to screw things in. And it gives you one of these Allen wrenches to do it with. Now here's where I say I'm going to show you how to do this easier. Because this Allen wrench can be a pain in the neck to put all these screws in. So I'm going to set the Allen wrench off to the side because I will be using that. But I also have a little screwdriver and my bits. So I'm going to go in here and find out which one of my bits fits the heads of these screws. I'm going to do it this way. So before I get that, I want to go into the directions and find out where I start. So now that I've got everything set off to the side, I'm going to grab one of these screws real quick and just see which bit fits it before I even get started so I don't have to worry about that down the road. Uh, 
um, one of these star bits should fit. And that's the one right there. I grabbed, got guessed it right the first time. So I'm going to put this. in my little screwdriver. And that way when I have to go put these things in, see, it's easy. All right, so I've got that set up to the side. So go to the directions. And the directions are real simple to follow. Really, really simple to follow. First things first, obviously set everything off to the side so you know where everything is. Then you go to step one. Step one, actually, believe it or not, is putting the wheels on the base of the chair. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the wheels. Turn this over. And these just pop right on. Pop on all five of them. And they do have a little push to them, so... You might have to put a little pressure to them to get them on. But that just means they don't come off, which is a good thing. So, step one completed. You got your wheels on. Step two is the telescoping bracket that makes the chair go up and down. All you have to do is take this, make sure you got the right way. This goes up. This part goes up. This part goes down into the chair. Pop it on just like that. It's that simple, all right? You don't have to go any farther than that. Just set it there. Now, you push this off to the side for a minute because now you're gonna go to where you need the screws. Step three is putting the bracket on the base of the chair, putting this, this piece right here on the bottom of the chair. This is the bottom of the chair, putting it into here. And it goes a certain way. And you need screw number A. And if you notice, all these screws I told you were before numbered A, B, C, so on and so forth. We want A. So I need four A screws. And I have four A screws, and I'm going to take this, and like I said, this goes on a certain way, so you have to make sure you get it right. You have to make sure it goes to the right direction. So when you're looking at it, and you're looking at the base of the chair, you notice it says front. I'm looking at the bottom of the base. It says front, and then there's an arrow here on the bracket, so that tells you which direction this goes. So what I do is I normally just thread these in right off the bat just to get them started. So you have all four in. And then, again, instead of hand tightening them all with my little Allen wrench, I've got this. And I do it catty corner. But I'll go back. I do it caddy corner, but I'm going to go back and retighten them, hand tighten them anyway. This just gets most of it out of the way. So now after I've got that done, I will go back and use the Allen wrench and just make sure they're tightened down tight. Because even with the... Uh, even with the power drill, it doesn't get them totally tight. So now this is tight. So now I get to go to step four. So I'm gonna set this off to the side. Next step is to pull this back over here, the wheels and the base. Take what we just put together. And this part right here goes onto this. That's simple, you just slide this part right here onto this. Just like that. Simple. So simple. Now we got to put the arms on. Now the arms can be a little bit tricky sometimes because of how they sit in the cushions of the chair. So realistically, again, you're looking for a, uh, 
a screw that this time is, we want the B's, we want four B's. And you'll notice there's two sleeves that say B, one for the left side of the chair, one for the right side of the chair. So we're gonna start and put them on. So you have to figure out which one's right and which one's left because it doesn't say. So what you do is you look at the chair. This is the front, this is the back. You can tell by where the screws are. So what you wanna do is you wanna get, this is the inside, this is gonna be the outside. So if you've got it on the right side, then it's gonna sit just like this on both sides when we put all the screws in. So let's put the screws in and see what it, see what it does. Yeah. So now I'm gonna put the arms on and there's the two screw holes that the arms go in. And you've gotta remember which is front and which is back. Now remember, under here it says front. This is the front of the chair. So we wanna go into the screw hole here. Now, I will tell you right now, you don't want these tight yet. I've learned from experience, you do not want these tight yet. And I'll tell you why when we put the back of the chair on. So now we're gonna put this side on. And again, same concept, into the two holes. Okay, so now we've got the arms on and they're not tight, just keep that in mind. And there's a reason for that. Because now we have to put the back on. And this is where we use our last set of A screws. Our la I'm sorry, our last set of B screws. And again, there should be four of them. And there are. And we're gonna use two on each side. So if you set it like this way first, it's gonna be a lot easier and get the bottom in first. And again, you've gotta just kinda of line it up. And again, don't make it tight yet. Same concept on this side, line it up. Okay, now the reason I told you not to make it tight is so that you can pull it up. If you had made it tight, you wouldn't have been able to pull it up. Now this is where I'm gonna need this. Unless I have an extender for this, I can't get in there. So this is actually where I need this to be able to go all the way in there and get this in. Now, can you imagine doing this with all eight screws? Which is why I like having the power one to at least get them partially. And now you can tighten them down. And I will go through one more time and tighten everything down just to make sure it's tight after I get these other side in. So now I'm gonna go to the last one on the other side. And again, same concept. I've gotta use the long Allen wrench to get it in there because of the distance. Do I have an extender? I have an extender. See how much easier that was? But again, I'm gonna use the Allen wrench to make sure it's tightened down all the way. Now, 
Now I've already tightened underneath, so I don't need to go back and retighten those underneath, but I am gonna go through and make sure all the sides are tightened one more time. So this is all hand tightened right now. I'm just gonna make sure everything is tightened one last time and give it one more crank. And there you go. So the very last thing to do once you get the chair built is to put the caps on, just to make it look pretty. And that's the last thing that's gonna be in this envelope that you're gonna get. You're gonna get the bolts and you're gonna get the, and the caps and the directions all in this. So we've got the caps, they just pop on just like that. This makes it pretty, that's all it does. It's to make it pretty. Now I will say that these do pop off over time. Just pop them right back on. And there you go. A Kelborn chair from Staples, complete. And what, took me what? 15 minutes, 10 minutes to put together? Not hard at all. Again, keep in mind, if you got a power tool, it makes it easier. And don't tighten the arms until you get the back on. Those are my two hints. I have a chair. Now, I can go up, I can go down, I can go back, I can spin around. That's how easy it is to put one of these chairs together. Again, if you can get your hands, this is the one I have. It doesn't matter what you have. If you have a power driver, it'll make life so much easier than doing everything with that Allen wrench. So much easier. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Again, make sure you hit the bell notification button below after you hit the subscribe button below and also the like button. We'd really appreciate you doing that as well. Thanks for watching.